How do we construct a triangle if we are given the length of the two sides and the altitude? Now in this example it's saying let the altitude be 75 millimeters. We know that the altitude of a triangle is the highest, um, the perpendicular distance to the top vertex of that triangle from the base. So here we are saying that a side AB which is from here to here is 100 and AC is 90 millimeters respectively so we are going to draw line EF which is a construction line so we're going to select the line tool and we're going to select our first point turn on author again and this distance is we don't have we don't have a definite um, dimension but I'm just going to use say 180 enter right based on the units that we're using here now it asks us to erect a perpendicular at point D and we are to locate point D somewhere convenient. I am going to locate point D and we are going to get this perpendicular from it. So select the R tool and my point D will be the midpoint. See I'm snapping at midpoint and I'm going to scribe my semicircle or these two arcs. We can choose to do this by um, I'm going to type 20 enter and I need to turn off author just to demonstrate what is happening here this is not shown in this construction but the, the arc basically continues so if you wanted to erase this arc uh, all you have to do is this and then we could just trim select the object, press enter, then select the side and then we could just go ahead select this one, right click and erase just to get it looking the same like this but you could have allowed it to stay the same way why we want these two areas from our point D is to get two arcs up here to have a perpendicular distance so we are going to activate the arc tool again and use uh, this as a point let me just turn on some of these snaps that we don't need. We don't need quadrant now. Right? So I'm going to use this intersection, ensure that it's at intersection as a point. And I'm going to use say 45 for my arc. Now remember, repeating the arc tool, it must be the same radius. So I'm going to choose 45 again. And I'll scribe right there. So to get line A, we know that from A to D, the altitude is 75. So we are going to draw a line from the center, our midpoint, through this intersection. So I hold it here and I type in 75 units. Escape. So AutoCAD has drawn this line 75. All we need to do is describe arcs from A to B and from A to C based on the distance is given here 190 so I'm going to scribe from A that's my center and I'm going to scribe up an arc 100 units enter and that's my first arc and I'll repeat the arc tool from A again is my center and on this side I'm going to have 90 and again I'll have to hold on control to have the arc going in the opposite direction so that would have completed our points B and C. So all we need to do is to draw a line from B to A and one from A to C. We could just go and ensure that we have three different lines here. So again, we could select them quickly and just bold our objects to outline it. Of course, we could use the layer properties tool to create new layers and to have our outlines on a separate layer but that is demonstrated in another video of course we are able again to fine tune our drawing by select lengthen and we are able to just change the size of our arcs that is our given triangle thank you for watching see you in the next video